All right, here with Ryan LaFlair. Ryan, I've been touting you as the next big thing in MMA now for quite a while. Uh, your career path has uh, slowed due to some injuries, right. but now you're at 100%. You've got a strike force contract. What's next for Ryan LaFlair? I don't know what comes next, but I'll tell you right now, if you thought I was good then, I had two years to heal up, to work on a lot of technique. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely coming for it. And I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna look back. Definitely gonna take, uh, take some titles with me. UFC, Strike Force, whatever it takes. Right now, uh, you, you're the reigning uh, Ring of Combat champion, right. uh, but you, you've got that, or Zufa contract actually, yeah. and they, they were looking to put you in Strike Force, right. but you could very well be in the UFC either way. Yeah, I think right now, I think whatever comes first, uh, whatever they can get me a fight, my manager, Glenn Robinson, is uh, doing a great job at you know, getting my name out there, so you know, whatever, I'll take whatever fight. You know, if he wants me to fight in someone's basement, I'll take whatever, but uh, you know I, I'm pretty confident that he's going to get me a you know a pretty solid fight with a good competitor. This way, everybody's going to know who Ryan Flair is real soon. Well, you know what? That, that's what people who know you say that you are the, the consummate fighter, right. and uh, you've got a six and zero record, right. all stoppages. Uh, never saw a fight go into the third round. No. You just want to finish those fights. Yeah, I, I I don't know about it. I, I can't speak for every fighter, but I. Uh, I'm not a, an evil-hearted person, but I actually do like hurting people. It's something that I do enjoy, which is kind of weird, but uh, yeah, I fight because I like the competition and I enjoy hurting people. Not my friends, but when I'm in the, when that cage door shuts, I'm you know trying to finish that fight with 100%. Well, you know what? If you're not, you're in the wrong business. Yeah, I don't think you should be doing it. I don't care how athletic you are and how you know how your family raised you. If you don't have that instinct, you're not really. You, you might you know beat some guys, but. You fight someone like me, it's, you know, good night. You know, right. Maybe pick up baseball or something. Right. Now, you fight in the 170 pound uh, division. Right. Uh, the, the top guy there is GSP, obviously, in yeah. the UFC. Uh, what do you think about George St. Pierre? Uh, uh, you know, I wouldn't say he's my idol. He's definitely someone I looked up to. Uh, I would, you know, obviously, if I ever had to fight him, I wouldn't look at him like that as soon as that, that uh, the cage door shut. But he's definitely somebody I like to mimic as far as uh, I watch his style, and I think he's a very talented and creative guy. And, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, you, you take something from that and then, you know, add it to my style. And I think that you got a perfect fighter. Well, you know what? You, you're a, a renowned wrestler. Right. And, uh, but you've got good hands, too. Right. And that combination has been very successful for a lot of guys right. in the UFC. Right. Right now, uh, I think that's what I developed, you know, with my year and a half break. I think I've developed my hands like a hundred times better. So, I mean, my hands were always pretty good, but right now I think they're, you know, a whole nother level better, and that's what I'm going to be showing in my next, you know, future fights. Right. And now uh, Condit is, uh, Carlos Condit is waiting for his title shot. Right. Uh, what did you think about that Nick Diaz, Carlos Condit fight? Uh, I personally thought that Condit won the fight. I thought that, uh, I thought he did what he had to do to win. You can say he ran away. It was a strategy. I thought he connected more on Diaz, you know, just because he was running after him. Doesn't mean he wasn't getting, you know, he was hitting him. He was doing what it takes. I mean, I wouldn't say he won every round, but I thought he won, you know, three of the five rounds, 100%. All right, and uh, now you're training at Long Island MMA. You train with guys like Dennis Bermudez. Yeah. Uh, how's your training going here? Oh, I love it here. This is my, uh, this is my home right here. These are my brothers, Dennis, uh, Gregor, Gillespie, uh, Chris Wade, um, Andre Harrison. All these guys, you know, future champions, 100%. We train hard every day. We all get along. We kill each other. Uh, I'm also going down to uh, doing uh, some of my camps down in, uh, in Imperial MMA with the Black Zillions. Those guys are incredible. Everybody down there is nice, you know, open arms. Definitely getting have, I'm around the right people. That's why I know for a fact I'm going to be a champion. Right. Well, you know what? You've got the right attitude. You're the ring of combat champion. Right. And now looking to, uh, to hit the big leagues. That's it. So man. you've got that contract. Definitely not looking back. Definitely not looking bad. It should be, uh, should be interesting. Keep your eye out. Ryan LaFlair. Ryan LaFlair, you got it. All right, thanks.
discussing my here.